Malaysia dan Filipina memasuki era hubungan baharu apabila Perdana Menteri Datuk Seri Anwar Ibrahim dan Presiden Filipina Ferdinand Marcos Jr. mencapai pelbagai persetujuan bersama membabitkan hubungan dua hala. Pada sidang media bersama di Istana Malacanang di Manila pada Rabu, kedua-dua pemimpin bersetuju meningkatkan hubungan yang merangkumi isu keselamatan, sektor halal, sekuriti makanan, ekonomi digital hinggalah kepada bidang perlancungan. Kedua-dua pemimpin turut menyentuh mengenai peranan Malaysia dalam memastikan proses damai di selatan Filipina. Anwar tiba di Manila pada Rabu bagi memulakan lawatan rasmi dua hari yang kelima ke negara ASEAN selepas dilantik sebagai Perdana Menteri pada akhir tahun lalu. Pada sidang media berkenaan juga, Perdana Menteri berkata beliau bertukar-tukar pandangan dan keprihatinan bersama dengan Marcos berhubung isu Laut Cina Selatan dan konflik di Myanmar. We also discuss areas for further collaboration. New and important sectors such as halal industry food security which you have placed so much importance and have actually taken impressive strides in this direction digital economy and are among the key areas that i propose as potential cooperation the president and i also agreed that both countries should intensify efforts to increase the volume of trade and investments we have had a good beginning but there's no excuse why we can't further increase the both trade and investment that would be of tremendous benefit to both our countries we also agreed that we should deepen the existing strong people to people ties through closer cultural and tourism collaboration education and sports Malaysia stands ready to explore potential new collaboration with the Philippines in this regard. Now the peace process in Mindanao. I must express again my profound thanks and gratitude. This has been a century long um, contentious issues that invariably affect the region and in particular Malaysia too. I did express my concern about the uh, contentious unresolved Myanmar issue which is affecting Malaysia adversely due to the huge number of refugees exceeding 200,000 people now in Malaysia uh, the president in his wisdom has reiterated the need for the five point consensus but i would uh, certainly Uh, suggest with this experience of wisdom to explore new areas how the Myanmar junta can be persuaded to work and collaborate as a team within ASEAN and resolve the outstanding issues which is which cannot be considered as purely internal because it's affecting the security and welfare of the region